Sorry, Walter, what can I get, sir? Uh, no problem. Um, I would like to have that new hot honey uh, hand-breaded chicken sandwich, if I could. Anything else? Um, yeah, could I have like a three-piece tenders with the uh, hot honey? And then that should be it. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. great. Thank you very much. Today we're going to be trying new products from Hardy. Excellent, yes, and let's just give you a hint that it's a little honey. So let's get right into it. He's Zach. And he is Dad. And, and together, together, we're Zach, Zach and Dad. Dad. Well, thank you so much for coming to our special, not only drive through review, but late night drive through review. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, we are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and a lot of sound coming from Hardy's Fun. If you enjoy what you see here, which we hope you do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss a beat. All right. Okay, and what Hardy's now, or Carl's Jr. Uh, in your neck of the woods now has, they have some new items. And uh, they are adding a kick of sweet heat to their popular hand-breaded chicken sandwich with the debut, or some say debut, of three new honey, hot honey chicken sandwiches, including the hot honey hand-breaded chicken sandwich, hot honey hand-breaded chicken biscuit for your, for your mornings, and also the hot honey hand-breaded chicken and waffle sandwich for your mornings as well. So what my son has, if you want to show the family there, son, uh, what we have here is that hot honey hand-breaded chicken sandwich, and it features a hand-breaded chicken breast filet topped with crispy bacon, melty cheese, yeah, melty cheese, and drizzled with hot honey sauce, all sandwiched between a premium potato bun. Okay, let me try. All right, let's chip it and dip it. Hopefully you like the lighting here. We're using that uh, uh, additional lighting from here, so hopefully it looks a little better. You like it? All right, let's just show the let's just show the family here quick. Probably drop everything. But as you can see here, a great looking sandwich there uh, with some great looking uh, bacon and cheese and some of that uh, hot honey sauce on there. Uh, remember when we've tried a hot honey sauce before? No. Um, that hot honey that I think my parents gave us. Oh, and this is what I love. I love that they drench the bottom of it also with some more hot honey. I love it when they do the top and the bottom together. Let me check this out. Wow. Again, there, here's a cross section of it. It is a big... It is a big sandwich as well. What are your first thoughts there, Zach? I thought it was good. I, I like the honey with it. Yes, there was. Could you really tell? Could you really tell there was a lot of honey there? Yeah, I could. it is. I mean, literally, they drenched this thing with honey, which was great. It wasn't a little drizzle, but what I love about it is that it had the right amount of of the salty from the chicken and the bacon. Then you added the sweet from the honey which made it a great combo. And then you add the kick. Did you hear, or did you, could you tell the, the heat? Mm, I couldn't. I, could, I couldn't tell the, I actually forgot that it was hot, hot honey right up until the end. And then when I swallowed it, I could feel that heat at the, at the back of the, um, at the back of the uh, throat. Now you don't think this heat would be bad mm, for anyone, right? No. no. This heat would not be bad for anyone. Your kids can have it. Again, I'm starting to feel it a little bit behind my back, or behind my back. Yeah, yeah, it's the heated seat behind me, but no, behind my throat. So, but would you recommend this? Oh uh, yeah, I would. yeah, I would. I really, I think it's good. The one thing I'll let you know is this is not something you want to drive with, uh, because of how much money, how much honey was on here, which is great. It's very sticky, so you're not going to want to drive with this. It's not one of those drivable things. All right. Well, let's give this thing a um, let's give this thing a flavor rating, and then we'll go to the next item. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one, one seven, seven. I'm giving it a solid seven. Uh, it was good, but I think Hardee's, and I really do like Hardee's. I think Hardee's has a lot of other uh, sandwiches that are better than this. And overall, now, why did you give it an eight? Because uh, I like the flavor. Yeah, um, yeah, the flavor is really good. That honey was. Uh, the price for this sandwich uh, was 
uh, five ninety nine. So six dollars for the sandwich itself. It was big, so maybe it was worth it. All right, so here you go. So now what we have here is what I did is I just bought a three piece, just a single or not a single, just a small three piece chicken tenders with the hot honey. Whoops. That doesn't help when it's upside down with the hot honey itself, just to test it and to just see how the honey is basically on its own. So again, I got my hands are so sticky from the sandwich again, which was good, but it just is going to make for a very messy car. Yeah. All right, here, let me get mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of, should we chip it, dip chip it, it, chip it, dip it. Hmm. Now you're getting mostly just the honey taste. Can you tell now there is that kind of a kick to it? I can definitely tell. You can't? Oh, I definitely tell now it's that I'm mostly just eating the honey. Uh, there is actually a real nice, not like, not like stay away from it kick, but a real nice kick to it. Well, this is better than the burger. What did you say? You like this better than the burger? Yeah. I think, um, I don't know if this was, he just said it was better than the burger. I don't know if I'm going to say that, but I know what you mean because you can get more of that honey taste. Again, you can tell from the lighting what this honey looks like. It looks like your basic uh, color, or I mean your basic honey color. I'm not exactly sure. Let me see the ingredients and see if it, if it shows what does make it hotter. Um, oh, cayenne peppers. That's what it is. Cayenne peppers. That's what makes the heat in there. So I would, so you definitely would recommend this. Yeah. So get some chicken tenders, just get the sauce by itself. Or for breakfast, I told you what those breakfast items were. Go give that a check too. Um, before we give a flavor rating for this one though, son, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy Hardee's, if you enjoy Carl's Jr. in your neck of the woods. Um, I know I do because of the grill kind of taste to the burgers. We really like the burgers from Hardee's. Uh, we'll put a card up here too. We've done Hardee's in the past. We'll put a card up there too. Would you try these items? Are you a big honey fan? Um, are you honey, honey? Um, anyway, what is your go-to item at Hardee's? And, or... If you don't have a Hardee's or a Carl's Jr., what is your favorite item that you like honey on? What about you? I don't know. I liked it on the chicken. Yeah, it was really good on the chicken. What I also love sometimes in the morning, I make a uh, piece of toast, put some butter on it, and some honey. Uh, and then on that too, that is very, very, that is very good. And then are you on team, when it comes to your burgers or sandwiches, are you on team sweet? Uh, like what we had tonight, or maybe like a peanut butter and jelly? Or are you more salty? like a, a burger, um, you know, without the, the sweet on there. What Which one would you be? Are you more sweet or are you more salty when it comes to your sandwiches? Sweet. Yeah, I like sweet, uh, but probably for my sandwiches, I do like salty better. But I do like sweet when it comes to my candy. So anyway, um, so you would recommend these. All right, let's give a flavor rating now because you like this one better. Let's give a flavor rating to the chicken tenders and the honey itself. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, two, one, one six. six. Yeah. Yeah. So even though you like this one better, you gave it a uh, you gave it a lower rating. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm giving it a solid six again. I would recommend it, but I did like the burger uh, a little better. So hopefully you guys like this new uh, late at night thing that we're doing here. Um, we thought you know do a little variety, you know, uh, pump it up a little bit. And so uh, anything else that you want to add to? No. You like Hardee's though, don't I you? Do. Good. What's your favorite thing at Hardee's? I don't know. Yeah, they're all good. Again, I like the Frisco Melt I've the best. I've been there in like a few years. Well, probably the only time you go now is when we review something. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, let us know how you guys are doing. We really would appreciate that. So, anyway, um, thanks for being a part of us. Zach, there's probably some people out there that are watching this late night drive through for the first time and saying, I love what they're doing. I want to be part of the family. How do I do that? You guys may like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please do that. Like us on the Facebooks as well. Uh, there is a thousand other uh, food review channels, just like my son and I. They do a great job. But we do thank you for spending a little bit of your YouTube experience with a father and son that that love to review items so that you can make a better budget uh, choice on your end. We do thank you for this. But as we always end, again, we love you guys, and we'll see you on the Flippy Flop Guys. Check out about the next video. All right. Bye now.